Hey everyone, today we got a lot of big news for Dead by Daylight, and I wanted to share my thoughts and just the positive feelings that I have for this update. We really got a lot of stuff that we've been asking for for such a long time now. The Dungeons and Dragons chapter is a really cool one because we've got not only a killer with an absolutely packed power, but also a survivor who isn't human. This makes me really happy. Having non-human characters is something I've wanted for so long and I'm excited we finally get our first one in-game in the form of an elf. This character is also coming with some really nice silly perks that let you do things like roll a d20 mid-trial. <laughs> it feels a bit like Nicolas Cage's perks being a, a bit sillier and just having some fun with the game's mechanics. We really need that. When they add these things, it really just spices up the gameplay, adds a bit more fun, you know? This character character also is technically two characters in one, which just makes it that much cooler. Vecna is a character with a whole bunch of powers and pretty unique ones too, which is a nice change I think. It's nice to get these really packed characters and just a bunch to play around with. And to top it all off, a dungeon map. This feels like such a huge deal to be honest, especially after Borgo had a castle, but they put it on the outside of the map. <laughs> this map also has teleportation, which is definitely a cool dynamic feature too. I think it's really nice when we get these maps that have more interactable elements, and this is sort of a huge one. The other thing we're getting is in-game magical items that counter his power, which is such an amazing idea, and a nice bit of innovation having these cooler, specific interactions and sort of side quests. The other big deal in this update is of course the new mode, which is a 2v8 mode. The mode does seem to be slightly restricted, which is a little bit of a shame, but it's still really positive despite this. Finally being able to play a new mode entirely is quite cool. It's going to have five original killers, and apparently survivors sort of have these set loadouts or something like that, which is going to be quite interesting. The final big things worth touching on, I think, were the finisher Mori system returning, seemingly with an updated version. This Mori system seems to be that you now have a base kid Mori when the last survivor is left. You can now then Mori them once once they're down. The Mori offerings now also provide a BP bonus, that's like a perfect change in my opinion, and pretty much nails what it needed to. If this system is ever going to be implemented, this is literally the best way to do it. Making it a reward for the end of a natural match without encouraging people to rush through matches. Cross progression is also finally coming. This doesn't personally affect me, but I know a lot of people who are really looking forward to this for a long time, so I'm happy they finally gotten around to implementing this. This is honestly just such a great great update overall, and is introducing so many positive and healthy things for the game that are just really going to help it continue on and grow hopefully too. Really great being able to make videos like this, <laughs> where it's just, you know, positive stuff happening, everything seems to be improving, all coming together. There were also announcements for other games relating to DVD. This is another just huge positive. The casting of Frank Stone, a story game focused on the DVD universe, seems very promising, and it's just nice to see the lore get a bit of focus and experience expanded for once, because it does feel largely quite neglected, which has always been such a shame. We're gonna have to see how it shapes up of course, but it is really just so nice to see some lore focus, especially as someone who cares a lot about the lore and really tries hard to get people to engage with it and discuss it. It means a lot to have some focus like this coming. We also got teased for another PvE mode set in the realm and focusing on a different set of trials seemingly, which is something we've theorised about before and is super cool to see. In-game we're also seeing the mad designer in this year's event. This is a lore character and another really cool thing to implement. It just seems like a lot of good innovation this year and just some lore focus, which I, again, really appreciate as someone who tries really hard <laughs> to make the lore you know, engaging and interesting and try and promote the lore and whatnot, just make me happy to see it get a bit of attention, you know? The biggest deal of them all, of course though, is we finally have some new crow perks coming. Finally, after so long, a new crow perk. Oh, makes me so happy. I know I all know about the crow perks, but it makes me so happy. I really like making videos like this and it makes me so happy every time we have just a really positive home run update like this that just gives a really positive outlook on the game's future and current state. It's been a bit rough recently after the UE5 update, so I'm just very glad we have something positive, to be honest. Um, so yeah, uh, that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed. Super quick video, just giving my thoughts. I'm very optimistic. It looks great.